Hey everyone, welcome back to the South Moon. Today, we're diving into Turkey's ambitious plans for a new indigenous air defense system. It's not just about defense. This project is a symbol of Turkey's rapid evolution in the defense industry, from relying on international systems to developing cutting edge homegrown technology. Let's break down what this means and why it's a game changer. So why does Turkey need this? For years, Turkey has been a member of NATO, but has felt that its missile defense needs weren't fully met by its Western allies. After trying to secure the Patriot system without success, Turkey turned to Russia's S-400 missile defense system, a decision that caused friction with the United States and led to Turkey being removed from the F-35 program. In response, Turkey is now saying, let's build it ourselves. And that brings us to the Steel Dome project. On Tuesday, the Defense Industry Executive Committee, chaired by President Erdogan, greenlit this major initiative. This steel dome isn't just a single defense system, it's a layered, AI-driven, network-centric air defense structure that Turkey aims to integrate across the country's airspace. Think of it as a multi-layered shield designed to detect and destroy any threat at any altitude and in real time. Vice President Chevdet Yilmaz called it a historic decision and it's a massive step for Turkey as it pursues regional security and independence in its defense capabilities. So let's talk about these layers of the steel dome. It's a four layer system. One, very short range, covering up to 10 kilometers. Turkey has already developed systems like the Korkut and Gukberg, which are ready to defend this initial layer. Year two, short range from five to 10 kilometers. Here, systems like Hisar A+, and Gokdemir are in play, offering a solid low altitude defense. Three, medium range spanning 10 to 15 kilometers. Turkey has its Kalkan 1, Kalkan 2, and Hisar O plus to defend this middle altitude. Four, long range. The final layer is still under development, but promises to round out this robust multi-layer defense system. Each layer is like a safety net, providing overlapping coverage to ensure nothing slips through. And all of this is supported by advanced AI to analyze threats and support quick decision-making. Now, who's building all of this? Leading the way is Aselsan, a major player in defense electronics. They'll be joined by other prominent companies like Rocketson for missile production, Tobitak Sage for research and development, and MKE for ammunition and artillery. Together, they're working to bring this vision to life. This isn't just about air defense. Turkey's defense industry has been growing at an incredible pace. Just a few years ago, Turkey's defense exports hit $5.5 billion. This year, they're aiming for $7 billion. And the Steel Dome project is part of an even bigger strategy. At the same meeting, Turkey's Defense Industry Committee discussed other exciting projects like the country's first homegrown fighter jet, KM, which aims to replace Turkey's aging F-16S. A range of drones, including the Bayraktar TB-3, Akinci, and Aksungur. New ballistic missiles, tank modernization, and systems for electronic warfare. In fact, Khan will be Turkey's very own fifth-generation fighter jet, set to enter mass production by 2028 and replace the F-16S by the 2030S. This will place Turkey among the select few nations with 5th gen fighter jet capabilities. So what does all this mean? Turkey is rapidly evolving into a self-sufficient defense power, less dependent on foreign allies and ready to secure its skies and borders independently. The Steel Dome isn't just a defense project, it's a symbol of Turkey's strategic autonomy and the country's commitment to security and technological advancement. Thanks for watching. What do you think about Turkey's Steel Dome project? Could it reshape the balance of defense power in the region? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more in-depth analysis and defense industry insights. See you in the next one.